Hi guys, welcome to the first of lockdown lessons. Uh, these are some basic tips and tactics uh, from my combat jiu-jitsu system and self-protection knowledge. Uh, we're not going to go into massive detail on these short videos. We're just going to look at uh, the essentials. This is dealing with uh, the sucker punch. Somebody stood in front of you who's going to offer you violence and you're going to predict whether they're going to kick off or not. As always, we need to keep at least arm's length distance. In this day and age, we should be able to increase that social distancing. But if somebody's getting into your face, you need to have your hands in front, forming a fence or a shield so that they can't get near you. From there, you're going to assess. If you know there's a threat, you're going to be in colour code orange, which means you're already waiting and anticipating that they could suddenly throw a punch at you, a headbutt, draw a weapon, or whatever it is. So we're not going to be totally surprised here. We are looking for an impending attack rather than being totally ambushed and surprised. We're going to do everything we can to talk this person down, to, to loophole them and give them a chance to, to move and walk away from you. But if that's not going to happen, we're running out of ideas and I've got nowhere to go, then the last thing I'm going to say to them is, look, is there anything I can do to stop this from happening? I'm going to give him a chance, the last chance to back off. If not, really now you've shown your ace card. So if I use that saying again, is there anything I can do to stop this from happening, mate? And he says, no, they're fucking ain't and comes flying towards you, then you've got an opportunity to defend yourself. If you can't preemptively get your strike in, then we're going to work off a flinch reflex. So as that strike comes, we're going to cover up as fast as we can. Again, covering up. If they're hitting forward, we want to see their fist smash onto your elbow. If they're hooking, this hand's going to protect your temple and your jaw so that you're not going to inflict serious injury. If I get to this position but take my hands away, we can see naturally what we've done, we flinched. We've brought our shoulders up, we've brought our chin down and we've shadowed our head so that we're keeping the knockout points away. This is a natural flinch reflex. We haven't been uh, taught this in any formal system. This just comes when danger is coming towards us. So up go the shoulders, down go the chin and the head shadows to protect ourselves from serious damage, even if that's a glass, for instance, or some sort of blunt weapon. So again, we look at it, the flinch reflex, the natural response and the trained cover. From here and now, it's how fast you come back from this flinch reflex. It's important. We need to get back in the game fast by ripping out straight away. Whether it be a hammer fist, a forearm jam into the net, knife hand to the side of the net. We're going to open up and then get back in so that we can follow through with our finishing shots. Okay, guys, that's a brief lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon.